welcome to the Instant Classic Wrestling <coughs> Podcast, the only podcast that is always an Instant Classic. And you're... And we want to punch Jim Cornette in the face repeatedly until he bleeds because he's stupid. Hot tag! Hot tag! Hot tag, okay, I got you. I got you, I'm coming in, coming in hot. You know, I'm going to hit that Big E spear. We'll see you on the flippity-dippity. Oh, yeah. What is going on, everybody? It's time for the Instant Classic Wrestling Podcast, the only podcast that is always, and I mean always, an Instant Classic. I'm excited. This is your TNA Impact Wrestling Review 4, 3, 15, 2016. Um, and we had a live show, which meant there were some crazy things going on, so let's jump right in to it. Um... We started off. Let's start off with the with the uh, p- promos, I suppose. We started off with a promo with uh, Jeff Hardy. Um, actually, it, it, the show started out with a match, but the match ended with a promo from Matt Hardy um, on Jeff Hardy trying to make a deal with him um, after the match. But Jeff Hardy wasn't having it. Um, it's kind of hard to know what's going on without knowing the the result of the match. So Jeff Hardy was taking on EY, and uh, Jeff Hardy would end up winning in a Pretty good match that we'll get to here in a little bit, but um, Matt Hardy, you know, tried to try to make a deal with him, you know, kind of save your shot, you know, save your shot for later, battle for glory, 2017, 2016, 2020, you know, save, save, save your shot. Um, and then, and then we had um, Eddie Edwards kind of talking about that Davies hurt. Um, good gravy, this. <laughs> This unfortunate tag team division for TNA. Um, David Richards is hurt, um, and the, the Decay attack, and then we got a nice uh, miracle Mike Bennett promo. Um, let's just start with those three. Uh, let's just start with those three, and then uh, Beer Money will talk with uh, about the um, the Decay too. Any thoughts, Casey, about those things? I don't remember what what it was, but. I mean, I, I gotta like take a notepad and like write all the things <laughs> right now because I can't even remember. Um, okay, let's start off with with Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy first. First things first. Um, I didn't think there was anything too special about this promo, uh, but they freaking throw around that poor child so much. She's like, you want to hold him? Here, hold your nephew. Okay, I'm going to take him back. Now I'm going to throw him here. Here, you want to hold him? You want to do it? I'm like, it is a child. It is not a prop. Calm down. Jesus. Um, But you know, it was kind of cool, you know, seeing Uncle Jeff hold him. You know, holding little Maxwell. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, What were the other two from us? The other two that uh, I just I, I I know them I promise um, the Eddie Edwards uh, David Richards decay situation where they kind of that that, talk, that just that and then the, the well oh. this don't matter either because it's just the beer money decay thing the miracle promo anything no all right Justin any thoughts on <laughs> any of those things if you can remember them um, more so I guess the miracle promo because I guess it's the first time you've seen the miracle promo. Or the Miracles, or Mike Bennett's promos, and then Jeff Hardy. Well, the thoughts on the Jeff Hardy one, you know, like, with Matt Hardy. I, I, I mean, there wasn't really anything too special happening there, um, but I, I definitely agree with Casey. You know, they were just throwing that baby. Um, Ma- Maxwell, that's his name. Yeah, they were just throwing him around there in this um, promo. And also, you know, Matt Hardy said, you know, he was, you know, very sad, you know, when Eric Young, you know, or EY, you know, pile drives him, you know, pile drives him. And, you know, I he um, Jeff Hardy wasn't having that, and you know he said you should you know save your title shot, which I don't know why he didn't say Battle for Glory 2016 to just skip to 2017. Like what? So that I guess there isn't gonna be a Battle for Glory 2016. I don't know, but of course you would say that you Tina hater. I, I don't hate Tina, uh, but um, yeah. no, I don't. If if I hate Tina, I wouldn't be watching this. So yeah, but um. I don't really have any two thoughts on the Eddie Edwards promo or the beer money. Um, what, what was the other one? Uh, it was the miracle. Mike miracle Bennett. Ma- Mike Bennett. 
Uh, I, I don't really have too much thoughts on that one. Because okay. he hates um, TNA. He hates it. I don't hate TNA. Uh, <laughs> one more thing. Any thoughts on the Icon? Oh, uh, Matt Hardy. That's how he says it. He really says it like that. Justin, any thoughts? I, I, I've heard Casey's thoughts. We've been doing this for a minute. Do you, do you need some water? <laughs> so no thoughts on heel this heel Matt Hardy? I mean, I, I mean, I, we saw that. I mean, I, not really, no. Mm-mm. Okay. All right, let's continue um, with the promos and, 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 and such. Um, we had a Lashley interview. Uh, he talks about being the most dominating and toughest um, in this wrestling business, he talks. He's kind of mad that he doesn't get the recognition he deserves. I agree. Um, he doesn't need friends. He says he's if you step into the ring with him, he's gonna hurt you. And um, Josh, he's not a not a happy camper of the questions that Josh Matthews asks him. He is about to beat some Josh Matthews, and then the Pope jumps in, and he gets feared because if you jump in the ring with Lashley, you will get hurt. It's he, he told you. He already told you. Um, and then we got a nice decay um, little promo. I love hearing from Abyss, just in my personal opinion. I just I don't know what it is. I, I think it's the decay gimmick that makes it not feel as weird when he talks. I like hearing um, from Abyss. And we got Josh Matthews actually returning to commentary after almost getting beat up. Um, Casey, any thoughts on the decay? Josh Matthews. Or Lashley, who you hate. I was I was excited, like I said, I, like I told DJ earlier. I, I I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe we might get an in ring Pope re- return. Maybe maybe possibly maybe. maybe. <laughs> um, I like the Decay uh, promo. I just love the Decay in general. I still think they need to change at least the mask for Abyss. Something needs to change about him to make him feel like he fits in a little bit more with them. Um, but I did like this promo that he did. I thought this was one of the better ones that he's done. Uh, I feel like he's getting more comfortable in the new gimmick and everything. Um, and, and we did hear a little bit from Rosemary. Um, and then Josh Matthews coming back, freaking no-selling the spear. No-selling it. Like... Y- if you didn't see that segment before, you wouldn't even have known that he got, you know, attacked. He's, him. he's taken a spear before. He was a wrestler. He was on tough enough and didn't do anything. He got a, I think he got like he was like the first elimination. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he was the first elimination. I'm almost um. positive. But uh he just no sold it like at all. I was so like okay. you sound like you got speared or something. <laughs> he was like, "And hey, we're back, blah blah." I'm like, Dude, "Really?" Um. All right, uh, Justin. Thoughts and also Pope's um sell to the spear was epic. Um. Any thoughts on any of those things? If you don't remember them, just tell me to remind you. Um. The I liked the uh, Josh Matthews and um, Lashley segment. That was pretty cool. You know, pretty much. You know. Last year, he's saying it was really nothing personal, you know, the reason why he did what he did to Kurt Angle um, last week. You know, pretty much, you know, proving a point, you know, because, like, he's pretty much just trying to prove a point, and, you know, pretty much saying that whoever he hops in the ring with, you know, like, he's going to be dominant, or, you know, if he hops in the octagon, he's going to be dominant also. And, you know, like, I, I just like when he tossed and Josh, Josh Matthews, and then, you know, of course, Pope got in the ring, which I'm like, can, can, can we have some Pope in ring stuff again? Because I liked him back in the day, like in 2010 and stuff like that. Cause that's back in the day? That's kind of back in the day. Oh, I mean, it's in the, it's, wow. Yeah, I am, yeah, I am 12. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but... Wow. Uh, Even for 12-year-olds, that's not back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I like this. This was, this was good. And um, Also, what's the other one we're talking about? The other one was... Um, the decay, which you decay. haven't seen yet, I don't think. Yeah, I I like the decay. I really love Rosemary. I mean, Rosemary. Come on, Rosemary. Wow. So, so Justin's in, into the creepy ones. Yeah, I like the creepy um, ones. I mean, she's actually really creepy. Let's take off that face. Let's take off that paint. You'll be good. You'll be. 
you do realize. Okay, okay. okay. All right, this is getting a little little graphic for the kids out there. So we don't. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we would get the evidence finally. Um, with Grado, um, we would get a no DQ stipulation added to the title match, and uh, with the the whole Grado evidence situation, basically. Eli would get his would get his case. Grado would get another contract if he wins a ladder match. So that set up a ladder match. Um, any thoughts on those segments, promos, and such, Casey? Uh, see, the thing the thing about it is though, like I I get that I that we finally saw the 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 evidence. We saw everything that happened. You know, he set up the match uh, for you know if if Grado wins, he gets another contract. But what we we didn't get the most important detail. Does Odarg still get the contract though? Like, does Odarg still get to wrestle? That's what I want to know. Is does Odarg the Great still get to wrestle for Impact Wrestling? Like, are they going to be a tag team? What's going on with that? That's what I need to know. We also saw a little bit of Willow. I forgot about that. It was like a little, just like a step walk by. Yeah, because they didn't do anything with it. Good, it's a teaser. That's what you're supposed to do. No. You don't need to capitalize on it now. You do it later. I want instant gratification, damn it. Spoiled freaking fan. Anyway, Justin. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed this stuff with uh, Eli Drake and Grado, you know, like this segment. I I like them point like showing the, like the footage of, you know, you know, him changing the briefcases. That was pretty cool. And, you know, I like how, you know, you keep both of those you know, like with the with the whole fire to I don't, I don't really remember the stuff I was gonna say because I just really forgot my train of thought here. Oh yeah, I like you know like the storyline behind this. You know, to keep both of them in the company because like you don't want to f- get rid of them. Like so, I I, I really like that. But yeah, but and do like you, how, do you want Odarg the Great back? Do you even uh, know who Odarg the Great is? You have not been watching for the past month. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> but. All right, yeah. are we ready to get into some matches? I think we are. Let's jump into the matches of the show. This is kind of harder this week to do it this way because, like, all of the segments revolved around the matches, whereas last week they didn't. Um, so, you know, always adjusting. But um, we had Hardy versus EY. Uh, the fight would, would, would start, but Dixie would come out and talk about how the winner would be added to the World Heavyweight Championship match. Um, I, 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 was, I think this match got you excited because... Not only did you have to wait a while to get it, to get let Jeff Hardy get his revenge, but you also had to <laughs> Hardy's revenge. Anyway, you also had to uh, you had more ramifications that we didn't even know about, um, <clears throat> like the Dragon Sleeper um, from the top turn logo by EY. Um, it looked like that could that could hurt a little bit, and then uh, the Swan Time for the win by Hardy. I, I, this was a good match, um, especially and it was nice to see a match to start the show. Um, you you don't always see that, but I I, I definitely think it's special when you do. So uh, let's start with Justin since we're getting into the matches. Justin, oh. I really enjoyed this match because you know, I just I just really enjoyed this match. I like when Jeff Hardy did that slingshot on like onto the outside, um, and um, Eric Young got his knees up. I like that, and they pretty much like brawled a lot during this match. I just really enjoyed this, and I think Eric Young he has one of the best power drivers in the business, uh, in my opinion. There's three syllables actually. Business. I know, but I, I just thought this was a very good match. But you know, the one in the match was Jeff Hardy. But like I said, this was this was very fun, and you know, he would go on to the main event. Make it all right, Casey. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, it, was, it was an okay match. You know, it was okay. Um, the uh, the pile driver scared me a little bit because you know any you know just anytime you do a pile driver on the outside you know it's it scares you a little bit just a little bit you know but um I just I I like the match but I don't know what they're doing with it like they're not setting up you know EY working for uh, Matt Hardy so it's like he's doing this for n- no reason but. Matt Hardy's getting the benefit. I just it's a little bit confusing. Um and I think they need to set up a more, you know, 
permanent feud for EY. Um, just because I think I feel like they've been throwing EY and Bram just kind of around because they don't know exactly what to do with them, um, which is unfortunate because you know they make a really good team. Um, you know, and they're entertaining. They're both really good in the ring, so I think they need to find them something to you know keep them busy. You know, put them in a feud with the Decay or something like that. You know, put them in. I was gonna say the Wolves, but then I <laughs> imagine how crazy that feud would be. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a pretty good opening match. Alrighty, so next we had the debut of Maria in a TNA ring. Um, we had Mike Bennett and Maria versus Galloway and Gail Kim. Um, <laughs> Maria wanted nothing to do with Gail Kim in this match. Um, so, uh,. <laughs> She she kind of runs out of the ring, but but Galloway when he gets in, he don't run anywhere unless it's right at you. Uh, he I, I think he hit uh, Mike Bennett with a boot immediately. Um, I love watching Galloway in the ring. He's a freaking tank. Um, he's uh, like he's a he's a tall dude, but he's not like one of those dudes that looks like just jacked. He just he's just really tall and lengthy. I guess linky. I guess is the the word. But um, uh, Galloway would trap Maria and. Uh, I, I I looked down to take a note, and then this match was over. So I have no idea how Maria won. I just saw they won. <laughs> um, a- any thoughts on this match, Justin? I thought this match was pretty good. You know, I I love Maria, man. I loved her stuff that she did back in Ring of Honor and stuff. And you know, like I said, I I, I just I, I just started watching TNA again. What about? But, but did you like what she did in TNA? I actually, I actually did like what she did here. What about um, NJPW? What? What? What about NJPW? I well, I don't have NJPW uh, the thing, the uh, yeah. network thing type of thing for the thing about whatever it's called. But you know, this was actually a pretty good match. You know, Bennett he worked with really uh, like with a lot of aggression here. And this was a good back and forth match between Drew Galloway and uh, Mike Bennett. And also, um, you know, Maria, she kept slapping Galloway. I like that. And then after she got done slapping him, um, um, Galloway, he did a whole bunch of chops on um, Bennett in the corner. I go like, ouch. Ow, that just hurt my chest when they were doing that. And I'm pretty sure that Maria won by a robot. If I'm not mistaken. That's why I looked down. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I was the roll up. I hate rolls. I hate them. I hate them. I, hate them. I, I, hate them. I, I, I was actually fine with the roll up because Maria didn't do anything in the match. I mean, besides poke her butt out, she didn't do anything in the match. That, so that it, part, you know, I'm fine with her doing that. But anyway, Casey, thoughts? But do you like fruit roll ups? Oh, I do love fruit <laughs> I actually like Gushers better. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I like both. Oh, oh. I was kind of let down with parts of this match, uh, more so Maria. Um, I she didn't really do anything, and I was so disappointed. Like I, we've seen her, we've seen her do good stuff in Ring of Honor. We've seen her do good stuff in New Japan. Hell, we even saw her do some good stuff back in WWE, and she didn't do anything in this match. I was like. Why? Why? Let her wrestle. Let her do things. Except for just a roll-up. Um, but uh, I, I I liked Bennett in this match. Um, Bennett's one of those guys that I, I love to see him just... Uh, I, I like to see him get good offense in, but he's also one of those guys who really sells well. Um, you know, that kick from... Uh, from uh, Drew, that he sold really well. Um, the chops looked good. Um, it was, it was a good match. I just I wish they did more with Maria in this match and not make her seem like that the coward, cowardly heel kind of a thing. Because um, I don't think that's her really. I, I think she can, you know, she's really good in the ring, so let her do that. Kind of the same with Seth Rollins. I don't like how they booked him as the kind of coward heel. I agree. She is a queen, and she deserves 
Better than this, TNA. Better than this. But let's continue down the card. We would get Davy Richard, as I put it. Um, Davy Richards, and it wasn't Davy Richards at all. Eddie Edwards <laughs> and Beer Money versus The Decay. And Rosemary was actually in this match. I love the decay with a passion. Um, I don't know what it is, man, but the decay they they just they just get all up in my feels, man. You know, I, I don't know. I, I just like the decay a lot. They they're kind of unique, I guess. Um, I, I guess you could call them. You know, they're they're a little a little unique type of a faction, type of a group. But um, I, I really enjoy them. I, I enjoy them in the ring. Um, I even enjoy Abyss within a, with with within them. There's too much ends in that. Um, you know, <laughs> shut up. I I really uh, enjoy Abyss. You know, with the decay too. Um, I, I just want to see see. I, I obviously want to see more of Crazy Steve. And I I mean I, I really like that Rosemary was a part of this match too because it, it kind of gave continued to build on that kind of craziness of it. Because at first I was like, is this a handicap match? And then it wasn't. I was like. Okay, okay. Um, Justin, thoughts on this match? I don't remember who won because I didn't write them. Oh, yeah, I thought this match was actually really good, and I love Rosemary, like I said. I just, I don't know, the DK, they left a good impression on me, you know, seeing it for, like, this team for the first time. But, you know, I just, you know, love seeing, you know, the beer money again also. This was good. And, I, I, like I said, this was very fun, and, you know, like, Rosemary, she's like this team is like so crazy and stuff, you know, like and she actually getting in the match and doing some crazy stuff here. Um, I, you know, this is pretty much one of your normal like um, six man tight six man tight matches. I like when Eddie Edwards hit the backpack um, stunner uh, for a near fall. That was cool. Um, but you know, th this was um, this was a very good match, and they also I like when Beer Money they both did a suplex to Rosemary like that and. I, I know this. what it is. I don't know why they didn't mention this because we know Angelina's pregnant. Davy Richards isn't hurt. He was obviously with Angelina Love giving giving birth to their child. They just had uh, their baby like yesterday. <laughs> that's what it was. I think that's that might have been why he wasn't there. Um, but but anyway, um, you have any more thoughts, Justin? Yeah, I do. And uh, I also like when Rosemary um, miss um, did the miss in the face of I can't remember who it was. Was it? It was rude. Yeah. And then you know, um, I think Steve he low blowed Edwards, and then they picked up. That's how they picked up the victory. So like I said, it was it was a pretty good match. I liked it, and yeah. Those tag titles look good on Beer Money. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I saw them come out. I was like, man, that's not that's not a bad look. But uh, anyway, Casey, have you gotten your Boozer career yet? Have you? You know, I'm working on it. I, I got I got a custom-made one coming for me. You know, it's going to be all chromed out and everything like that, you know. Um, how, how, did, how did Davey Richards get Angelina Love? Uh, that's what I need to know, you know, I mean. Because, I mean, he's really better. Not. Don't get me wrong. He's Vel good Velvet's guy. better. What? Velvet's better. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> That face. <laughs> Get out now. I don't know. I was, I was like Velvet Sky Band. Get out. That, that ass, though. Get, that is all she has, and it's not even a good ass. Then boobs. Also. She can't wrestle. She has an awkwardly high lower back tattoo. She can't wrestle. She has horrible mic skills. Okay, um, back to the to, anyway, to match. Sorry, sorry, my bad. I, he, if he didn't say nothing, I wouldn't have said nothing. Don't start now, won't be none. Yeah, yeah, don't start now, won't be none. Um, I, I like this match. I like that uh, that Rosemary was in this match. You hardly ever see intergender matches anymore. Um, and if you do, it's like you know. Guy, girl, guy, girl, and only the the females wrestle each other, and then only the guys. You know, the girls don't ever get to get in the ring with the guys, which is awesome. Um, I do kind of, uh, you know, I think I think Davy and Eddie should have been out. You know, with Angelina, you know, it's going to be Uncle Eddie, so he got to meet the baby. You know, and they should have, you know, put Jimmy Havoc in his place. Because they started off a feud with Jimmy Havoc, 
and may not continue in the feud with Jimmy Havoc. Are you seeing a thing that I like Jimmy Havoc? Um, I, I just I want to see him more. I want to see more of that feud. Um, and and he's he's cool. I, I do still want to hear from Crazy Steve. Uh, I want to hear the Jamaican accent that I'm convinced that he has. Um, I'm convinced it's a Jamaican accent. The man is Jamaican. They just ain't telling us. Uh, but yeah, this was a really good match. I, it got me excited. Alrighty, I think the next match on the card is not the main event, but it was close. It was close. It was the almost main event, and it was Grado versus. It was a co main event. This kid, this cult's co main event. How, how dare you? How dare you mess up my Eli Drake? <laughs> but uh, we, we had Grado versus Eli Drake, and uh, I was I was excited going into this match because like well I I was excited because it kind of got thrown on me at the last minute. I was like, wait what? Wait what? Um, I, I kind of want more of these matches thrown on me at the last minute, please. Um, but anyway, love the cannonball through the through the through Drake into the ladder. Love that. Um, Jesse would come in, kind of get involved. Cher would <laughs> almost hurt himself <laughs> on the ladder. <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught that. But <laughs> I, I was laughing so hard. Cher, um, it's the mustache. Cher would almost hurt himself on the ladder. And then Grado made me say, Oh my God! Um, when he jumped from that ladder, to take out everybody, I was like, yeah, Grado. Um, and then he ends up hitting an electric chair from the top of the ladder. Obviously, Grado gets his contract back. He is hype. Um, this was a good ladder match, though. There were a lot of kind of cool spots um, in this match. It's, it's been a while since I felt like we've seen a one-on-one -on -one ladder match. Um, we usually see a lot of group ladder matches, but not a lot of one-on-one -on -one ladder matches. So I, I thought this was a pretty good ladder match and shows the versatility of both Grado and Eli Drake. Um, I... I'm I'm loving Grado, man. Ever since I watched his documentary, I mean, I was a fan before, but watching his documentary, so much appreciation for that, man. Um, any thoughts on the ladder match, Justin? I thought this match was a good. This match kind of came out of um, this match kind of like it was kind of a curveball here. Like this at the beginning, this match was kind of like comedy, like cartoon comedy at the beginning. But I really enjoyed this. You know, we had some interferences with. Um, Jesse in this match, and we also had um, Chiro, he came in the match, and also I liked the splash that um, Grado did on to all of them on the outside of the ring. That was cool. I liked the electric chair off of the top of the ladder. That was a good spot during the match. Um, also, but the win of the match was, you know, Grado, he kept elbowing and Drake at the top, and then that sent, um, you know, uh, um, he like Drake, um, you know, falling off the ladder, and the winning of the match was, you know, great when he got his contract, and you know, he, and I also like when he does his uh, that cannonball in the corner, you know, pulling out his inner Kevin Owens there a little bit, but yeah, this was a, this was a fun match. I enjoyed it. No, 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 Justin. Kevin Owens pulls out his inner Grado. Casey, your thoughts on the match? First of all, we're going back a little bit. We need to have a six-person feud. We need to have the Decay versus EY and Bram and Jimmy Havoc simply because EY trained Crazy Steve. Anyway. But anyway. Uh, let me, let me really? talk to you. Yeah. Really though? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Let me talk to you. This was a really good match. Uh, this was a good ladder match, but it was a good kind of short ladder match. It wasn't like a 60-minute ladder match. It wasn't like half an hour. It was a really short, but you got into it. Like, the storyline was there. The the They got the all the cool spots in and everything, and, and, you know, you walked away kind of like, wow, I just saw a really good match. And I'm really hoping there was, it, it was either a tag team contract or, like, there's a clause in there that, you know, allows uh, Odarg to get, cause listen, listen. We need Odarg, the great. We need Odarg. This is what we need. 
Alrighty, let's get into the main event of the evening. Jeff Hardy versus EC3 versus EY. And there was a lot of outside interference, which I get it, because Matt Hardy is iconic. I get it. You know, I get it. You know, he can do whatever he wants because he's iconic. I, God, I'm, I'm really into this iconic Matt Hardy. <laughs> Like, I get hype every time his music says, I am iconic. And then he cuts a promo and talks about being iconic. Does all that stuff. I like it. I like it. I think he got a little mucus in the throat. He needs to get out. I think he needs some mucinex. But what? MFers? Are you an MFer? Are you an MFer? I am an iconic MFer. You follow Mattitude. I am an icon. I'm gonna say that as many times as I can before the end of the video. Anyway, um, Bram and EY would come out near like the middle portion of this match and take out Jeff Hardy. Um, Spud and Tyrus would come out, and Bennett would come out and take out EC3 pretty much. Um, but EC3 would throughout this match just keep kicking out. He would end up getting taken out by a chair by the chair of Mike Bennett. And then uh, Hardy pretty much declares himself as the winner. Um, <laughs> basically, he he walks out of the, gets out of the ring, grabs his title belt, tells the lady to get him a microphone. Which w- what was funny about that? She got him the microphone really quick, and he still got mad at her. I just thought that was funny. Uh, she got him that microphone pretty much immediately. He still was mad. But um, Hardy starts cutting a promo, and then he starts to walk up the ramp, and Galloway comes out, like pushes him like a little girl, um, and he rolls down the ramp, um, and then. Throws him back into the ring. They rang the bell before Matt Hardy could even get up. And then um, Drew Galloway hits the Clayboy kick and then hits the Future Shock. And Drew Galloway is your new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Um, and I, I, it surprised me. And a little bit of me was like, why isn't this happening in the UK? Um, similar to the Kurt Angle Farewell Tour. Farewell Tour. The Kurt Angle um, Tour. The, <laughs> the Kurt Angle Tour things of leaving. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I I was surprised that this happened at this show, but I think that's kind of the cool thing about live shows. They will throw something in on you. The crowd was hyped. The crowd was surprised. That's always a good thing. Um, I, I thought this was a, for, especially for a triple threat match, was a really good match. Um, I wanted it to technically turn into a fatal four way match, and that's how Galloway won it. I, I'm not sure, but um, I, I definitely liked it. It was a, it was a good, good, good thing. It's been a while since we've had a a serious face um, be the champion. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a little bit. I think the last one we had was EY. Maybe, and we see how that went. Um, <clears throat> we see <laughs> where that took EY, but um. Justin, thoughts on the main event and your new? I really enjoyed this match. You know, like I like the story behind this. You know, where Matt Hardy couldn't get the job done on his own. I I, I just really enjoyed that. Um, you know, of course we you know like DJ said we you know we had um interference by Eric Young and Bram. You know, they took out pretty much they took out Jeff Hardy in the match. They took the they pile dragged him. Well. EY Powell drive Jeff Hardy on the floor, like on the cement floor, which that pretty much took Hardy out of the match. And of course, you know, we had Tyrus and uh, I think Spud, he came out. They pretty much tried to take out EC3, and I, I like that. That was good. And um, like, like I said, there was a whole bunch of interferences. And then, you know, of course, we had the cash in of the, you know, that briefcase, the championship briefcase. Um, which I was so happy, you know, like, we got a new TNA World Heavyweight Champion and Drew Galloway, like, uh, like this was very good, I, I really enjoyed it, and, you know, they're, the main event picture is, like, looking, like, really good in TNA, you know, like, because like, you, you can do so much rivalries, you know, you can do a Matt Hardy and Drew Galloway rivalry, you can do a e- EC3 versus Drew Galloway rivalry, you can do a Mike Bennett Galloway rivalry, yeah, you can do a um, you know Galloway Jeff Hardy rivalry. I mean, you can go so many ways in this, and don't you know 
throw Bobby Lashley in there, or this Lashley. You know, you can do so much different rivalries, and, like, the main event picture is, like, looking so good in DNA. But I kind of want them to do a little more stuff with the X Division and, you know, you know, bring that up again. And the Knockout Division also start bringing that up again. And also a little bit with the... Um, a little bit with the uh, TN, TNA Tag Team Champion, you know, the Tag Team Championships, which also um, Bear Money are going to be doing an open challenge next week against any former TNA Tag Team Champions, which that's going to be pretty cool. Basically, I'd see who that is, but yeah. Okay. Um, I had something to say, but I forgot it, and it was not. Ah, um, <laughs> see? Or you could have Drew Galloway. Versus O Dog the Great for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, but then we obviously know that O Dog would win, so that wouldn't be a fair match. Um, this was a good match. I was surprised, at, and a little bit upset, but not. Um, I was surprised that Matt lost so early in his reign. I thought his reign would be a little bit longer than it has been. Um, what? Because he's iconic. I get it. I yeah, he has phlegm in his throat and stuff. <laughs> um, but then again, I you know I I obviously I, I knew you know Jeff wasn't gonna win the title. He's already had it a bunch of times. He doesn't need it, and, and to an extent, Matt doesn't need it. Um, you know, I I think but this EC3 though does. Um, because he's still. Still undefeated. Are you dead? Are you dead? Anyway, I feel like Matt having the title kind of gave us a, a different appreciation of him, more of a, an appreciation for him, so now he doesn't really need it. Like, we kind of, I feel like as fans, we kind of, you know, lost sight of Matt to an extent. But him having the title again, I was like, okay, you know, you know he does have a character. He does... You know, he can do stuff outside of Jeff's shadow, uh, I guess. But I'm really excited that Drew finally, you know, Drew was the chosen one in WWE and that never worked out. And now he's finally, you know, getting to that world title picture and getting the title um, and being kind of the face of a company, which is cool. There is actually one. Um, can, I, can I one more thing? No. Oh, sure. Um, uh, no, I guess then. Oh, um, all right, so bye. No, yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing I want to add, you know, like, you know, EC3, you know, like, he's going to be like that, you know. He, he is a big star, but he's, um, you know, going to be... I, I they don't it about my boy. Yeah, I mean, he's he's always going to be a really big, um, you know, guy, you know, a, a face. Uh, he's going to be the face of the company for a very long time, like in like 10 years down the road from now. Like he's gonna Yeah, because be, he is unbendable, unbreakable, un unbreakable, undisputed, unde unbeatable. Un Unde dum 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 dum. dum. But he lost that's, that's right. whole, um, He didn't know. He lost the title, but it was an unfair right of justice. I mean, like I said, I, like I said, I really love the main event picture in TNA right now. Cause it I agree. I was gonna good. piggyback on that point. That's what I was gonna say. I, yeah, there's did. so many. There's so much versatility with that. There's so many ways they can go um, yeah. with the main event picture. And it, you know, I I think sometimes, you know, I don't want people to get confused because we we got upset at WWE for being so confused. But they're going into their biggest pay per view of the year, whereas TNA. You know, they're just going into next week's show, um, and and I think it's kind of nice to be a little bit confused sometimes because it it brings more unpredictability, and that's kind of for WWE too the same way. Um, we we wouldn't have got the Shane Man situation without being confused and a little upset. But um, any final thoughts? Um, more so from Justin because he doesn't watch TNA. Um, any any final thoughts? What brought you back? It was obviously the double turn where the iconic Matt Hardy made me really upset. What brought me back? That. What brought me back? The uh, uh, the cash and really brought me back into TNA. You know, like all the stuff that they were doing. You know, with the whole main event picture. That what that's what actually brought me. But, back But but what what brought you back before this show? Not like what ma like what made you sit down and say, hmm, I'm just gonna watch TNA tonight. I, I kind of wanted to say the Matt Hardy stuff, kind of when you know the iconic 
<laughs> yeah, the way I said that was was it was it Jimmy Havoc? It was. Jimmy. Um, I bet you he doesn't even know who that is. Anyway, no, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I've been listening to you guys' reviews, but I don't really know who that is very much. But like I said, I, I'm really looking forward to next week's uh, TNA show. I'm really looking forward to it. let's see what they go from here with you know the world championship. And like I said, I then I want them to do more stuff with the X Division Championship and the um excuse me and the uh, Knockout Championship. And, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I want to see more. more. Some what more storylines. What? What about the King of the Mountain? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I forgot, forgot about. He doesn't know about that title. He has not yeah, I, I still know about that. I, I still know about that title. <laughs> and also, um, also, there's something I was gonna say. No, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Did you so know look. that it's interpromotional? Yeah, yeah, no, it's interpromotional. Oh, yes, I know it's interpromotional. All right, let, can we can we stop rambling? So oh, we, oh yeah. Here's my last thing I want to say. Yeah. I remember, I remember it now. And you know, I I want them to bring in more new people, you know, from different you know promotions because I don't want them to do like the reason the thing that drove me out of TNA was you know like the stuff that they like the whole Bound for Glory situation last year. That's the thing that kind of drove me away from TNA. But like I, I just want them like to do more like. Bring in new people, you know. Don't do the recycled garbage type of stuff. I don't do the same matches over and over because I, I like don't do like the same repetitive matches. Like I like to see new different matches. But so you didn't like the return of Jeff Jarrett or the return of the King of the Mountain match. I, I like that, but for shame, Justin. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was I, your. I, said I liked it. I said I liked it. Don't like Trevor Lee. Why don't you? I, I love Trevor Lee. I, I love this Peter. I love his PWG stuff. Shame, shame, shame on this guy. Anyway, he, he any, anyway, we we're going home, guys. Well, I'm already home. Um, we going I'm already home also. You know what? We going, y'all going home, but y'all probably at home too. Anyway, that is it. That is your teenage review for three fifteen two thousand and sixteen. It was a pretty good show. Um, it was a really good show actually, especially for a live show. Um, this is the reason why we need teenage live shows back for good. Um, I w- or at least calm down on the tapings so much because that that wears out the fans a little bit too. But um, if you haven't already, hit the um subscribe button. Make sure you hit it. You know, don't quit it because we want you to come back. So yeah. are we changing the name to the iconic? Classic, <laughs> the classic podcast. Um. Not officially, but I, I will put in a petition. Um, I think the fans, LB, L- LB got me, bro. Yeah, LB got me. I, I heard from him. IWP, the iconic wrestling podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, hit the subscribe button. Give us a like if you, if you like. Share it on every Facebook page you're ever in. Um, ever. I, I got to like leave a lot of Facebook pages. I caught a lot of spoilers this weekend. I cried a little bit inside. But, um... Anyway, um, we will see you guys later. Peace.